Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. I truly appreciate it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, I have not dropped the line. Please drop the line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you you are um you've been with me for a while hey go ahead and, and, and you know drop a line i would love a chance to you know hear from you again again it'll be greatly appreciated and um if you feel like the videos just gave you a good uplift or a vibe that you truly need for today go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly greatly appreciated it'll help the algorithm of you know my channel and you know whatever you're going through to get to you know, or, or has been placing a real stain into your life. Hey, I'm praying all stay the claim that you're going to get through this. You're going to get over this. And, you you, you know, you're going to get whatever you got coming towards you in the most beautiful way. And I'm sending that towards your way. Anything that is coming through on my, my on my my vibe on my channel my section whatever my business and it's coming in and it's not making the best out of me the best version of me and taking me there anything that's nefarious that is not godly or it was presented to me on where i needs to go and it's trying to distract or stop i'm sent to turning that back to sender is that mine's gonna have ultimate healing and peace towards your life and the video i'm doing today is called uh, uh twin flame 101 hey oh because don't let your loyalty bind you to slavery it is so true it is so true. It'll be different things where I've been watching lately and I'm just like, ooh, I've been there, you know, and it'll be different times where, you know, we all had, you know, they had that rock problem where you judging somebody. I'm like, well, how the heck you judging somebody knowing that'll be something that you still dealing with or that'll be something that you have dealt with and you dealt with it too long where you should not be even bragging about something like that. So, you know, don't do that because you were there. And I was like, true that, true that, let me go ahead and self assess you know because you know when you on that middle of growth you already know good and well you saying something you ain't supposed to say there'll be different times where i had to even stop a video I'm like hey don't say that <laughs> i'm like don't say that because you breathing back you breathing that in when you're trying to close the door so i had to be able to you know break that off but it'll be different things where i've seen and like i could discuss it with somebody that you know or we one-on-one -on -one discussing or whatever and it'll be different things that we had in our lives. Like I said, I, I, I'm wanting to be in a power bond. I don't want to try and bond with nobody, but I want a power bond. But you want to be able to stay comfortable in that, normalizing that. Normalizing anything that's going to create a better version of you. Okay, I want to normalize that. But you be different things where, you know, don't be hard on yourself because you know more, much more now than you did back then. Because you'd be like, oh, I wish I knew that then. Yeah, you wish you could, but you weren't finished going through that experience yet. You were loyal to something that was not good on to your life. And it was it was something, I, like I said, you know, I said I'm not going to bring up the names for that, but just the examples of what went through and how I will deal with it now. Not how I wish, you know, I dealt with it because when I dealt with it, it was the experience I had to go through to learn that. You know, not to be loyal towards anything. Anytime somebody tell you, oh, I, you know, you're not going to leave this situation. Basically, it'll be like, I'm going to leave. And, you know, it's a it's a swinging door for me. It's rotating. But you're not going anywhere. And there'll be sometimes people, I can respect somebody who's saying that. I was like, oh, really? I can respect you. But different times, people aren't going to say that because they know that doesn't benefit of what they're trying to get from you. So, it'll be when somebody's showing you those type of actions, you need to be able to allow yourself to, this is not something I need to be loyal to. You know, and it's like, you know, people have asked me for different things because they watch my videos. You know, I've talked about different things about trauma bonding, love bonding, codependency, narcissistic, narcissistic personality disorders. You know, you're healing from narcissistic traits. You know, there's sometimes that, you know, not everybody, and I'm not saying that everybody does, but there are certain times there's a lot of us that have those narcissistic traits because you may have been exposed to that. You have may have gone through an experience where it created that. And then there'll be different times that you you have allowed yourself to stay comfortable in something that you, that was really sent to tell you, hey, this person is showing you what their intentions are about you, or hey, this is what this is showing you about this connection of this experience, the situationship, 
you know, this is not a relationship. This is a situation where you need to ship your butt up out of there. You know, those different things. Or where people feel like when they go from one relationship, they need to jump to another. I've been there. I was ain't placing judgment on nobody. But it will be just those times where when I see situations like this and I can say, Honestly, I've been there. I'm being very transparent. I stayed in situations with many people, whether it was children, it was uh, family, it was, uh, you know, situationships, it was co-workers, you know, it was people I called my friends when it wasn't. It was a lesson that was going to bring me to a blessing, but I had to be able to see that there was a blessing in disguise for me to be able to change shift, be able to change vibrations, change directions, all those different things. So it will be those different things where you have to be able to allow yourself, give yourself time to heal from the last cut that you had in your life. And, you know, it'll be different relationships. We went in, you know, I said never allow myself. And there have been times where I've been in the heat of, heat of, you know, of where I moved through emotion and not through logic. Where I said I wish I never met certain people in my life. Or if I knew you were like that when I never attached to you, no, if that was meant and sent to heal you in some kind of way because it's showing you something about yourself it's showing you certain things about that is attached to you you need to let go of you need to heal you need to disconnect from you need to sever and those are the different things where you need to allow yourself to disconnect from this and anything that's a part of you that is attracting that and that's where you need to not allow that type of loyalty to make you become slavery to pain anything that's telling you to put your back your your happiness on the back burner is not for you Anything where it's saying, okay, whatever you're doing, some, it, whatever this is going on, and you being transparent about it, like, oh, this is something that I already see is going to create an argument, or this is a person where I know that I can't have a, a discussion, you know, on that vibe that I'm trying to be in. You know, I'm never, you know, I have to allow myself to not get comfortable on to allow myself to exchange energy like matching energy like that and it had to be at that point where my energy is how what kind of energy you bring to me and that's why i'm be selective at i'm not matching that because if it's low vibrational i'm just not going to do that and i used to say that i even had different different posts that i said well I, i'm gonna match that energy no no what i'm not going to do is i'm, I'm gonna select my energy because something just does not need to have my energy certain things I need to not allow myself to attach to because there'll be different things where okay there's a lot of times where you know you probably heard that that saying where somebody's bringing a bone and they trying to take one back they trying to see what they can get out of you or they trying to say you know I've had different people come in also do you not think I don't know the hip of the game but I appreciate you doing that because it taught me another lesson because a lot of times history will repeat itself and they'll do that into your life and you probably go through it different people will come back into your life just to see if you learn from what they showed you the first time because people can change you know but you know a lot of times people do change but it'll be just the change of the game change to see if they you know a lot of times like I, I came into that life because I heard something I heard something I heard something and I don't like the fact that that person is growing I don't like the fact, the fact that person is who they are or what they're attached to or what they're committed to or what they got guided towards them so I want to destroy it and they'll come in there just to be able to say it, and then they go take it back to somebody because they were sent by somebody else to be able to bring that in you know and those are the different things that take place in life and you have to be able to be loyal towards yourself on what you need to be very selective about what you entertain what you connect to what you speak on you know because there's a lot of times when you had to learn i had to learn especially from here i learned a lot of lessons through life but my my real real let well shoot the intense lessons on a lot of things that's done came through here since i've been on my 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 um my journey especially being on here with a lot of things i've had a lot of beautiful relationships that i'm still in there's a lot of them that i'm still not i've learned a lot of beautiful lessons whether it impacted me in a negative way powerful way low vibrational way trifling way it was a way that i need to learn to be able to be with myself and i had to be able to do that you know um be different things sorry y'all jumping from different things that's my acd uh, i say acd ADD. <laughs> that was like ACDC. I don't even listen to them. But ADD is coming in. I, I meant to say that because I didn't finish what I was saying towards that. When you jumping in relationships and you jump into one and into another and you just get in the same situation, a different person. You know, and it had to be that because I felt like I had to be 
important. I felt like I was important if I was attached to somebody. I wanted to be married just for the fact of being married. And I know you may, you may be committing into a whole damn nightmare. Why the heck would you want to be married to something like that? Or why you want to be in a relationship that was built off of something that, that can really just take your life? I'm seeing how different things where I have to be selective even about what I watch nowadays. Because I'll be watching certain things where I'm seeing people where you can just tell. It's like, oh, you know, this person is this. And I'm just like, and then it's just the response of the comments I be seeing. And I'm just like, y'all worried about the wrong thing. This person, I lost their life. Just because you can clearly see this person is on a come up. And that person did not like that. They felt like that, you know, this is, it, they're into that misogynist type situation where a woman is not supposed to be capable of doing more than a man. You know, they'll be in vibes like that. But there'll be some people where they love the fact is that'll be a brag to them. Like, oh, my woman is so, you know, she a go-getter. Anytime, you know, she challenges herself and I love that. That's the type of man you want into your life because they love the fact is you are not settling for nothing. Or you're that person where, okay, if y'all in the midst of where y'all can agree, okay, we in the top of life. We're loving life. We don't need you nothing. And we can just be at that. You know, there's some people that are like that, and they be committed to something like that. But it'd be those things where God finally got you to that point where you are exactly where I wanted you to be. But I'm giving you more ammunition to create better for this. I don't want you being stuck in where you at, even though you're doing good, you're living good, you you, you know you getting paid good or whatever. I want you to keep adding towards that, add towards that until I tell you. You can stop. That'll be like you doing a Winchester relationship with your life, and I'm not talking about with all. You you keep building until God say stop. That's what that's what I'm talking about Winchester, because you know the Winchester house got a lot of nefarious things that's attached to that. But I'm talking about that you build until it say stop. You know, and that's basically what God. You need to have that effect. You know, into your life. Cause I was just like, I want me a Winchester situation. I ain't talking about all the other crazy stuff to go with it. But when you're building until it's telling you, okay, now it's time to stop. You're okay. You don't built your legacy. You don't built yourself up. You in the it, you, you you right in the in the heights of the version that you were created. And you were born to be at, and you become an example. Because it was just like I made a video the other day talking you ain't from this life but you you know you in this world but you're not of it you know you are being that person that had to be able to go through that because people are in that vibe where they feel like something is so oh, detrimental can happen in your life and nothing good can come out of that and there'll be certain times where I mean I be in here just like oh my god this really done hit my heart to where I mean I'm crying until my eyes don't swell shut because I done seen somebody go through something and something so beautiful came out of that and that was meant for me to see that was meant for me to see. You don't never know. And it'll be just like people want that glory but don't don't want the story. You you want to you want that life, but you don't want to do what it takes to get to go through it to get to it. That's the loyalty that you need to not be having that vibe. You need to cut your life off with that loyalty. Cut that off from your life, not cut your life off, but cut that off of your life where oh I want to be there. But okay, yeah, you want to be there, but are you willing to do what it takes to get to where they're at? Because you don't know what type of sacrifice these different people have been in. That, that I don't want to have a loyalty to where I want to have shortcuts in my life. That's a slave. That, that's a slave trade that I ain't doing that. Enough of my people done been there. I ain't, trying to, I ain't trying to do that no more. And they still got that mess going on around here. But it'll be just a, those different things into your life where you're wanting to create better for it. And you are not becoming that person where, you know, because um, when that man, I was like, I shared a video like that on my Facebook and, and my Instagram on the reels where guys like I would be, I would allow myself to be connected with people to no matter how much you, you, you hurt me and you broke me, I would still stay there. And you had to know that ish had to stop. And it had to be. Because a lot of times people don't check on you. They're just trying to see if you're going to be, they, they, they didn't cake people. They want their cake and eat too. I want to be able, even though I'm not willing to do what that person, they, I'm not going to do what they, that I asked them to do. Why would you ask somebody to do something that you ain't willing to do? And you think it's supposed to be okay with that? You know, you have to be that. I want to treat you 
on how I want to be treated. I want to do stuff that I know that is not going to be an issue on hurting you. I want, you know, I want you to be, I want to get whatever I'm putting out, I want it reciprocated or we add more towards that. You have more weight towards that. So that makes me want to match that type of energy. That's what I'm doing. My energy want to be high on that. You know, but it'll be like those different things. Like I say, the post where I'm like, oh, no, I ain't matching energy with that. Because that takes me to have to take me to get out of my happy place to be up in a defeated place. Oh, no, I ain't about to do that. I'm like, you ain't gone with that. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. And I say, I've had things that tried to bury me. And I'll always be resurrected from that. That'll be those different things where God is like, no, this is not going to kill you. This is not going to destroy you. But I had to allow you to go through something. Y'all needed you to have that beating. I needed you to have that beating on going through different stuff like that because these are the different things that you had to go through the examples on showing because it was like when I said that earlier about that where people telling you all oh, you you ain't going nowhere you know and those are different things you when you're allowing things like that to be in your life you're telling people okay I'm okay with being treated like that and you had to be able to let go you know and I'll tell people anything that people don't like about you when you know you stand on your own you okay with being by yourself even if you have to walk alone and sometimes you have to do that just to be able to connect with something that's divinely got it for you and you had to go through something that had to be that for you to be able to come up from it because we all go through different things you don't want to, you are not a victim of your circumstances you're not a victim of your pain you're not a product of that you are you are a product of what you can achieve after you have been through something like that when you create something better like uh, you know it's easy to stay in that thing where you know I had this I had that I had this I had that you know it's easy to be in that vibration of that but when we create challenges to be able to say yes this did happen into my life but I want to be able to create to myself to be able to come back you know even when I see something where I, you know you're going away that you're not supposed to you're trying to release that out of your life. Don't breathe that back into your life after you don't took it out. We're proud of you, but now we're more proud of you because you recognize what you're doing to continue a, a, a cycle into your life that needs to be severed. And when you're doing that, and it's just like, especially when you have children, you know, a lot of times that our children can disrespect us and do a lot of different things because they're seeing these are this is okay this is how you're telling me how I need to treat you and this is what you're telling me I need to accept in my life and that's why I tell people especially when you got children or people that are really looking up to you and just saying that you don't want them to feel like I want you to be better than me I want you to do make better decisions you see the different things that I went through and if I get on to you about different things that's taking place into your life Shop oh Jesus! I mean, well, that's the first time they did that with that. Uh, bringing in a commercial. My bad, y'all. But you going through those different things into your life where you're you're wanting your children to not repeat history on your mistakes. You know they gonna make their own mistakes, but you just don't want them. You know, and I tell them, you know, hey, you seen when I went through that? I don't want that for you. It's like, but you went through it. Okay, yes, you went through it, but I don't want you going through what I went through. I want you to create better into your life. And I don't want you doing that. That's why I tell anybody, if you're going through a, a, a domestic situation where you're in a, a very, uh, what is, you got to be careful with your words here. You, when you're in going through a domestic experience where it's really just really taking the life out of you and it, it, it's really taken away from your vitality, we have to be able to work and get out of that. And a lot of times when you can go through some different things like that, that really has taken you... Oh, oh shoot that scared me hopefully I can be able to put that on there I want copyright but you know you're going through those different things into your life that um, I'm sorry you know like that's part of the native our native family so I'm just like I ain't, I'm trying to bring that in but I don't want it to over talk me uh, or, you know over what I'm saying but um, you know you're going through these different things to where you're really trying to teach to create better into your life so anything when you, you you're not, not loving with limitations and I'll tell people real quick uh, I, I want that you know L W L. he's like what is that love with limitations I don't, I don't want you know you to be in my life saying oh I'm going to support you until it starts creating a, a competition or something like a competition with nobody I'm in competition with the person who I was yesterday. Whatever it was to drag me down yesterday, I wanted to build me up today. Whatever I had bad happened in my life yesterday, 
I don't want that to create what I'm going to take in for the day. You know, I, I don't want people to be into my life to where when you see me shine, that is the issue for you. Because I want you to shine too. Because I was raised up. I'm not the only star that need to be in the sky. But I want you to you win. But I don't want you, and I'll tell people real quick with certain people, where I, I don't want your happiness or your thrive to become off of something that you created for me to suffer. And you just don't want that into your life. I want to be able to see everybody thrive in their own way of what their what they were sent to be able to do to create better for their life. And so you don't want to be loyal loyalty to the point where it creates you to be binds you to slavery. Because anything that creates something that depletes you is not something that, that you can let you know that that will be later where it will create defeat for you. And you don't need that into your life. You want something that brings out the best in you, not the stress in you. So I hope you were able to re resonate with the content of that video, y'all. Um, I'm going to lose my paper where I got my own. You know, so I want to be able to give my shout outs. I want to give a shout out to uh, Sam C as well as Sheena uh, Coleman and uh, uh, Joseph N N Pierce. Much love to you as well. S. Harris, much love to you. So if you've been, you know, watching my videos, you know, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content I create, you know, please give a thumbs up and share. Drop a line. I would really love to hear your take on, you know, the videos that I'm putting out. I love the fact is it's truly a blessing when you can really connect to people. They're on that vibe of change, transition. You know, you're really trying to figure out who you are through the moments. So now I know somebody said that the other day. It's like, I'm just still trying to find out who I am. And you're fine in that through through your experiences that you're going through and you're going to be able to find that because a lot of times you are trying to find out who you are but it just wants you to give apologies to self of you being something that you're not so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video y'all and much love to you um whatever you're going through like i said i'm sending so much love blessings that anything that's going to bring um abundance prosperity determination dedication appreciation or all those Asians and you know the motivation and stuff like that I'm saying that towards your life and, and towards a million towards that so what I'm putting state on the claim on your life that you gonna you gonna surpass anything that is placed on your life that's really putting you a pause into the cause so much love on that you know whenever this video comes out I hope you have a blessed you know prosperous day on any day it is whenever you get a chance to see this so much love to you i love y'all so much and i appreciate so many of the views and all all the uh you know the s subscriptions I, I really appreciate that i add that towards my soul family tribe i want to say the subscribers i always say soul family so i appreciate all those vibes that you bringing out to me so much love namaste um what is it much love namaste god bless shalom and peace you'll see me on my next video bye